your boy Lou Dizzle down here in the 239 with uh, James and Donnie. Uh, they agreed to help me out a little bit uh, to get my door speakers and some deadener in the blazer. Uh, I know it's hard finding people to help you, so you know I'm definitely taking advantage of the opportunity to uh, make some progress on the truck. This is what we got today. We got some uh, murder mat. That's what the whole blazer will be uh, layered with eventually, floor to ceiling. Then uh, today we're putting in the Ampere Audio Dream components that were sent to me by Thomas Van of Explicit Audio. Got all the mounting gear there. So we're going to start popping door panels off and uh, I'll update you when we start laying some deadener. Alright, so Donnie made freaking short work of the door panel, man. It's like a ninja. Uh, so this is what I'm working with with the factory speaker. And I gotta give it credit, man. I have to give it credit where credit is due. This speaker looks like complete garbage, but this factory sound system sounded amazing. And uh, it's just hard to just hard to explain, man, because, I mean, that's a cheap-ass paper cone. When we pull that guy out of there, it's probably gonna have a tiny little magnet on it. I mean, the, it's a 2003 truck, so this is a 13-year-old speaker. The surround's still intact. But, uh, you know, if the factory one sounds that good, imagine what these amperes are going to sound like. I'm about to deaden this door here, too. So, uh, I'll check in with you guys when we got more stuff done. Alright, so this is like the factory sound deadener that's usually on the door. Uh, that's what the door panel looks like naked. It's about to get the murder mat treatment. Going to uh, clean the surfaces up inside there because I want the whole inside of the door to not vibrate because when we put that uh, good six and a half inch mid-range in there it should have some decent uh, mid base so I'm going to get to cleaning some of these surfaces so I can get some uh, murder mat on that all right so we got Donnie putting that hard work over there getting the wiring done so we got a, we got the factory speaker there and if you notice it says made in Mexico that means China got beat out by Mexico for that cheap ass speaker but anyways, so this is what the door is looking like at the moment. We got the murder mat up in the door panel. Let's get all, oh yeah, look at that. Way up in there. So I did the inside skin of the door. We got the outside skin of the door here. Definitely a decent amount over where the speaker is going to go. Juice, tap on that door real quick. L listen to the sound difference. That's solid, man. Nothing's vibrating. So the sound should be great uh, coming from the door. So I'm going to let uh, Donnie jump over here and do the wiring thing. Uh, we're putting the tweeters up there. They'll be on the door panel. So time to crank out some more work. We got Donnie busting out uh, the wiring. I came over to get some help. I had no idea dude would be so proficient, man. It's just blowing through stuff. So just as an added bonus, uh, I have my 6 by 9s for the back. I was like, hey, would you have time to do them? He's already got the, the other one in there in the panel back on. That's crazy. Let me show you this 6x9 that came out of there, man. Straight Buddha Dean. Buddha Dean 6x9 here. Look at that tiny little thing there. I mean, I still give it credit. It still plays. You know, it's 13 years old. Let me show you the other 6x9. Do we got the other 6x9 over here somewhere? It's on the floor. On the floorboard. All right, so we got these beauties here, which blow those factory 6x9s away. It's got, uh, you know, it's a three-way 6x9. So the mids and highs, man, should just be a night and day difference when we get this all back together. So we got the tweeters here. Uh, got these guys. Super nice for the, uh, the Ampere Audio Dream component. So uh, I'm gonna get those guys mounted in here because that's what uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna put them right here, surface mount that guy, swivel it right towards the ear, be good to go. I'll check in with you guys when we made some more progress. All right, so there it is. The Ampere Audio Tweeter mounted looking real sexy right there. And then let's see if I can, if you can see inside there. It doesn't have any more of that yellow cheap garbage. And then back here, Donnie made a quick work of. If you look inside there, you can see that Diamond Audio six and a uh, six by nine back in there. It's looking real nice. The doors are all deadened. So uh, I want to thank this man here. 
he, uh, no problem. You know, check out this light too, man. It's dope for working on stuff. But you know, I just uh, hit him up on Facebook. It's like, hey man, would you mind help me uh, put these in? He's like, yeah, no problem. What was it about an hour and a half total? Yeah, something like that. Hour and a half yeah, for too. four speakers, actually six speakers with crossovers and dead and doors. So I tell you what, I'm gonna make the uh, I'm gonna do a little demo of this on a, on its own video because it'll get copyrighted. So it's your boy Lou Dizzle, man. We're getting work done on the Blazer. Thank God for good friends.